to our another edition of Facebook Live here with our beautiful plant of the month, the glorious, gorgeous Hibiscus sabdurifa, or what we also know as Roselle, the beautiful red calyx is here, or what we use as medicine in Western um, herbalism, as well as across uh, the African diaspora. Right, so today we're gonna make a beautiful traditional drink uh, that is helpful. <laughs> of course, my name is Lonise and I am a community herbalist uh, with the Florida Holistic School of Living. I am located in Orlando, Florida. I also am a business owner uh, and own Wellfed Apothecary, a local e-commerce apothecary herb shop where I make beautiful offerings of herbal goods um, that you can get online and locally if you're here in Florida. So today, like I shared earlier, we're gonna do a beautiful recipe with my beloved ally, Hibiscus sabdurifera, also known in many other names like Roselle, Sarel, um, Zobo in West Africa, right? Is what we refer to as this beautiful, beautiful plant. I believe it's in the Malavasi family, right? And this is such a beautiful, generous plant that gives and gives, especially around the season. Um, all parts of the plant is edible. That includes the flowers, the leaves, some folks eat the stalk, and of course the beautiful red calyx, right? So whenever you're seeing things like hibiscus tea or any hibiscus blend, these red calyx, we, these red calyxes here that you see is where the medicine is usually coming from, but all parts of the plant is beautiful and medicinal. Rich in vitamin C, this beautiful red color shows you and tells you, it's a tall tale sign, a doctrine of signature that tells you it's high in antioxidants, right? Um, beautiful flavonoids, uh, mucilage, soothing, very cooling plant, and a favorite of mine, I like to say that planetarily, of course, if you've uh, followed me and uh, participated in my class that I shared with the school recently on astrology and herbalism, this is one of the plants to me that is a beautiful balance between Mars and Venus um, because of its soothing quality, but also its fiery red appearance, right? It's very Martian of it. Uh, so today we're going to make a very traditional Afro-Caribbean uh, drink that is enjoyed especially around this season as well as uh, Christmas, right? Sorrow! <laughs> and that's also another name um, referred to by uh, uh, Hibiscus sabdurifera. So sorrow is a seasonal drink that we love to enjoy around the holidays, around family and friends. It's whenever you see sorrow drinks coming out, you already know it's the end of the year, time for gifts, right? So the main ingredient of the sorrel drink is of course the hibiscus sabdurifera and in every family every recipe is unique so in the spirit of florida and our beautiful seasons we're definitely going to make it a florida style with a touch of some um, warming spices in the spirit of the season um, and i'm going to show you a beautiful recipe here that you can hopefully share with your family with some ingredients that ha you may have on hand or you may not that you can always substitute um, as we go along. Now, whenever you're using hibiscus sabdurifera or roselle, the fresh or dried variety is amazing to use, right? So this here is a jar of the fresh or fresh or dried calyxes that were recently dried, and this is how they look whenever they're dried. It's just beautiful red color, right? Um, the actual calyx of the hibiscus sabdurifera is not doesn't really have a high water content, though it's extremely mucilage when you keep it and brew it down in a decoction, for instance, right? And a decoction basically is when you're steeping a plant material over boiling water for a number of, like 10 to 20 minutes, right? And so that allows a lot of the mucilage of this particular uh, plant to come out, but. Whenever you do, when you're, if you're growing this in your area, this is a season where it's it's flourishing in your garden space. There's a beautiful pink flower that comes out of this particular calyx, right? Um, this calyx holds that flower, and once that flower drops off, the calyx seeds or the stamens of that 
flower portion will grow into this. And that's our medicine. And inside of that, you'll find a beautiful, juicy seed pod, right? That you'll just pop out and grab your material. And I just take off the whole pod and keep the beautiful inside for whatever recipe that I'm using. Because I grow this plant and have it in my space, I obviously love using it fresh. But of course, throughout the year, when hibiscus is no longer in season and it's died off because it will die back um, within the frost, it's here, especially here in Central Florida, it's not a, I think it's what is considered a perennial, right? Depends right? on where you are. Depends on where you are. Yeah. So I always, of course, have a stash of fresh. So um, again, whenever you're using fresh to dried materials, it's with hibiscus, it's considered like a two to one aspect, right? one cup of fresh material to two cups or two cups of dry material to one cup of fresh and vice versa right so for this recipe we'll just use some of these beautiful fresh juicy bits because we've got them here and they're just such lovely friends to have i love including hibiscus in food salads desserts soups again like all parts of the plant is it's edible so the leaves are this beautiful tart sour goodness that goes in soups or salads or whatever obviously stash your seed pods for next season um so with the sorrel again it's hibiscus and other goodies so just for the sake of demonstration i'm going to show you um about one cup of a dried material right so i'm just gonna eyeball it here I mean, I do lots of cooking, so, you know, if you're in the kitchen often, you know what one cup, <laughs> one cup looks like, right? So this is about one cup of plant material of your hibiscus, right? Or roselle or sorrel. Another, what's beautiful about this particular plant is that it's so versatile, right? You can make it savory, you can make it sweet. It's just one of those beautiful allies that is just generous and abundant very cooling and soothing to the body it helps move blood right it's a mover so because of its soothing quality it really helps to satiate blood lower our blood pressure that is mainly popular popularly known in the caribbean known to lower our blood pressure keep us nice and calm right and soothing whenever we're making sorrow in the afro-caribbean diaspora we love including these grounding spices right I have some cinnamon here from Haiti. We have cinnamon tree in our backyard and luckily I have cinnamon here. So a stick of cinnamon in the mix of that coolness, delicious, right, for the palate. And also cinnamon is another mover, but very grounding to the body. We also include star anise, this beautiful licorice flavor, right? We love star anise whenever we're adding into our sweeter dishes, especially in this season, right? Like a good pumpkin spice chai situation. And star anise also is considered an anti-diabetic, also really, really beautifully grounding to the body. Majority of our beautiful spices are always considered that, right? Those woody, woody, um, earthy toned <laughs> spices. So you would include just a stick of, of cinnamon and star anise, and of course it's to taste whatever feels right to you. But traditionally, those are the staples in a traditional sorrel drink. Another beautiful staple that is something that's so in interesting to include in this vitamin C packed plant ally is orange. So fresh oranges are sometimes used and sliced whenever you're making a pot or decoction of this sorrel drink. But I luckily here have some Florida oranges reserved from the summer that I dehydrated this the rinds right and use whenever I need orange flavor right so I add just like a tablespoon of the orange rind to the drink now of course oranges are orange rind is really bitter so you'll obviously see and test your uh, decoction to see what would fit right taste wise but orange peel is again rich rich in vitamin c beautiful for the season and this cold into the season keeping our immune systems alive and awake right with the inclusion of vitamin c vitamin c is rich for our skin it keeps collagen helps with the elasticity of the skin 
and because I'm in Florida and the season is just wrapped up I've got some star fruit one of the tr another traditional fruit that's always included within sarel just to sweeten it if you don't want to use sugar as a substitute to sweeten or honey or what have you they use pineapple but for the sake of this video I don't have any pineapple on hand and what I do have in my space is some star fruit so star fruit is a beautiful fruit enjoyed throughout Asia the Caribbean uh, depending on the, the season the level of sweetness varies right so some that you'll pick you'll see is very sour while others are very very ripe and the size also determines the flavor component right so the, the smaller the fruit the more sour the larger the fruit the sweeter so we're just going to include some beautiful crambola i believe is also the word carambola carambola and how do you know it's ripe well to know that your star fruit is ripe is the color so these are just slightly underripe when picked but the season is over so i just picked them off the fruit off the tree but um it'll be this beautiful kind of orange color whenever you see them and all parts of the fruit is edible right so the skin the seeds even some people folks eat the seeds um because it's, it won't do much damage to the digestive tract but it'll turn into this really beautiful orange kind of sienna right and that's how you know that it's perfect ripe and sweet for you to enjoy but again in this blend it's, it brings a beautiful uh fruitiness to what already tart berry tastes right and then the, the mix with the cinnamon and anise lovely pear uh to sweeten i have honey here right local honey from my friend ox from ox beekeeping uh it's a beautiful beautiful community work uh, he's doing beautiful work in the community and this is his raw local honey sourced here in orlando and i will add to taste right so you can add at this point add whatever flavorings of taste or sweetening that you prefer whether it be maple syrup dates sugar coconut palm sugar whatever have you that makes you comfortable in sweetening your, your drink or you can enjoy this just as is um, hibiscus is one of those plants that can be enjoyed without sweetener it's really tart and sour but this is a, a, a tinge of sweetness at the back end whenever you enjoy it um, so after you've boiled this down right because you are again making a decoction of this so you would include about a quart of water to this recipe here so we did about two cups of hibiscus a cinnamon stick about two stars in these, half of a star fruit, and a quart of water. We would simmer this down on the stove top, right, for about 20 to 35, 20 to, yeah, 20 to 25 minutes. And then you let it cool, you strain it off, or pour it over some ice and enjoy. At that point, because again, it's a festive season, a lot of families do like to add in uh, extra seasoning, extra goodness to the mix to enjoy with their families. But again, this is something that is beautifully enjoyed across the Afro-Caribbean and across the world, honestly. Whether it be agua fresca, uh, sarrel, hibiscus tea, all of the things, gobo, right? Um, this is a beautiful plant ally and happens to be our plant of the month here at Florida Holistic School of Living. I want to thank you all for joining me this afternoon for this quick recipe and little glimpse of what we love to enjoy in the Afro-Caribbean and how we're all interconnected in that way through the plants. I'm Monique. Enjoy your weekend.